Before we proceed to our lesson, I want you to read this Bible verse. John 8, verse 2. Again, Jesus spoke to them, saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Good day, everyone. Today's episode, you are going to learn about photosynthesis and cellular respiration. So here is the main target of this lesson. You're going to differentiate mm -hmm. basic features and importance of photosynthesis and respiration. But before that, we have vocabulary words. You're going to give the word based from the definition. <laughs> First word. These are organisms that produces their own food. What are they? Yes, that's autotrophs. That's correct. Second word. These are organisms that feed on other organisms. What are they? Yes, they are mm. heterotrophs. Very good. Mm. Third word. It refers to a green pigment present in all green plants. It also responsible for the absorption of light to provide energy for photosynthesis. Anyone? Yes, that's chlorophyll, correct. Fourth word. These are tiny openings present on the epidermis of leaves. What do you call that one? Very good, that's stomata. Fifth root. It is a carbohydrate or also a source of energy. Okay, that's glucose. Lastly, it is an energy molecule or it means adenosine triphosphate. That's correct. ATP. Before we proceed to the lesson proper, I have here a short thing. It is called 4 picks 1 word. You are given four pictures, but your answer is only one word. Okay, are you ready? I will give you five seconds to answer each word. That's correct, ATP. Number two. That's correct. Carbon dioxide or CO2. Number three. Sugar, that's correct. Number four. Yes, the answer is water. Number five. Oxygen, that's correct. This is the list of words from the game. ATP, CO2 or carbon dioxide, sugar, water, and oxygen. We are going to define what is photosynthesis. It is a process of food making done by plants and other autotrophic organisms. The process of chlorophyll enables these organisms to make their own food. Here, all green plants has green pigment, so that's what we call chlorophyll. So it is also responsible for light absorption. So, autotrophic organisms require light energy from the sun, carbon dioxide, and water to make food or sugar. Here are the key concepts of photosynthesis. First, the plant draws up water through its roots. Second, 
the leaves take in carbon dioxide from where from the air third the leaves trap energy from the sunlight Using the energy from sunlight, water in carbon dioxide will be converted into sugar and oxygen. And then the oxygen will be released to the air and then sugar will be used for growth in plants. Where does photosynthesis takes place? Well, in plants, photosynthesis primarily takes place in the leaves and little or none in stems depending on the presence of chlorophyll. Where does gas exchange happen? Gas exchange occurs in the stomata. It is mostly found under the leaf. It is the photosynthesis equation. Say so you have carbon dioxide from the air, water absorbs by the roots, and then you're going to need light energy from the sun. Then the byproducts or the end products should be glucose or the sugar and oxygen. What are the starting materials needed in photosynthesis? Your answer should be water, carbon dioxide, and light energy from the sun. Question number two. What are the end products of photosynthesis? Your answer should be glucose or sugar and oxygen. We're done with photosynthesis, so let's proceed to cellular respiration. What is cellular respiration? It is a set of metabolic reactions and processes that take place in the cells of organisms to convert chemical energy from oxygen molecules or nutrients into adenosine triphosphate or the ATP and then release waste products such as water and carbon dioxide. Where does cellular respiration takes place? So, it takes place inside the cell. Most of the processes takes place in the mitochondria of the cell. What do you mean by mitochondria? These are membrane-enclosed organelles distributed through the cytoplasm of the most eukaryotic cells. Their main function is the conversion of the potential energy of food molecules into ATP, or mitochondria is also called the powerhouse of the cell. It is the chemical equation of cellular respiration. In the left side, we have first the sugar, or the C6H12O6, and oxygen gas, or O2. It came from the environment. Then for the right side, we have first the carbon dioxide. It is released in the environment as waste product. Next, we have the water, H2O, released in the environment as waste product also then energy what are the starting materials of cellular respiration answer sugar and oxygen question number two what are the end products of cellular respiration answer carbon dioxide water and atp or energy Okay, let us compare photosynthesis and cellular respiration. First, for cell structure, it involves chloroplast, while cellular respiration, you have mitochondria. For raw materials, 
with water, carbon dioxide, and light energy. For cellular respiration, you have sugar and oxygen. For end product, for photosynthesis, you have sugar and oxygen. While cellular respiration has water, carbon dioxide, and ATP. For energy requirement, photosynthesis has light energy, while cellular respiration has ATP. Write the chemical equation of the following. We have photosynthesis and cellular respiration. For photosynthesis, you have 6CO2 plus 6H2O forming C6H12O6 plus 6O2. For cellular respiration, you have C6H12O6 plus 6O2 forming 6CO2 plus 6H2O plus ATP. Answer the following question. Number one, in which part of the cell does photosynthesis happen? Second, in which part of the cell does respiration happen? Number three, what energy is needed by photosynthetic organisms during the process of photosynthesis? Number four, what energy is needed by organisms during cell respiration? Number five, what are the materials needed during photosynthesis? Six, what are the materials produced after the process of photosynthesis? Number seven, what are the materials needed during cell respiration? Eight, what are the materials produced after the process of cell respiration? Number 9. Describe the materials needed during photosynthesis. Where does they come from? 10. Describe the materials needed during cell respiration. Where does they come from? The answers are 1. Chloroplast, 2. Mitochondria, 3. Light energy, 4. Chemical energy, 5. CO2 and H2O, 6. O2 and glucose, 7O2 and glucose, 8 CO2 and H2O, 9. The materials needed are products of cellular respiration, CO2 and H2O. Number 10, O2 and glucose. For generalization, how will we describe the equation of cellular respiration and photosynthesis? Here is the chemical equation of photosynthesis in cellular respiration.